What is the most exciting topic in Innovate Europe this year? Well, you know, for everybody this is something else. For me personally, it's of course all about blockchain. Uh, there are a lot of exciting new application cases that we've seen here today. Uh, also, the topic of artificial intelligence and application in banking and financial services is quite coming up. Uh, and exciting new stuff you would never think about it becomes possible. What product service are you showcasing today? Well, for us it's a very special day tomorrow <laughs> because we're going to, for the first time, unveil our platform, Veiler Network, right? And we're going to show how easy it is to create a tokenized asset, how easy it is to invest in such an asset, um, and what kind of liquidity and new opportunities this marketplace opens. What is special about this marketplace? Well, this is a marketplace for tokenized alternative investments. So there are probably three things that are very different than, from, than what you see on all other financial marketplaces or platforms. Um, so first of all, it's a blockchain-based platform, right? So all the assets are issued there in the form of token. Um, those are asset-backed token. Tokens that represent real assets, funds, participation in companies. This is very new. Um, the second thing is that um, we build the platform tools and applications that enable more liquid uh, exchange of those asset-backed tokens. Just to give you an example, I will be presenting um, smart contract-based auctions where for secondary market, for liquid assets or ex assets that are not exchanged frequently, um, you can place them in a reverse Dutch auction and sell to a group of investors. This is very new. And lastly, um, Valor Network is uh, built as a community-based platform, right? So if you have the right skills and, uh, um, and expertise, you can contribute to decentralized value creation. You can contribute code, you can contribute performance predictions. And, and I think, you know, we're building some kind of new form of organization for financial services. It's not going to be DAO, decentralized autonomous organization. We are miles away from that. But I think we are on the way to creating this decentralized, more open uh, financial institutions. And that's a very exciting place to be. Way forward, what are the trends and advancements that we should expect to see in 2018? Well, I think speaking about our industry, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, um, I think we're still in the space where uh, we continue to build up infrastructure. Infrastructure is in this space, it's still you know, nowhere in comparison to uh, fintech and uh, banking application where we see them today. Even basic things, exchanges, wallets, uh, it's still not quite there. So I hope uh, to see a lot of uh, development in terms of user experience um, and, and utility of those tools. Um, on the other side, it's going to be again a lot about regulation. Uh, a lot of people now see that in our space, blockchain, DLT, technology, application and financial services, it's all about regulation. Where do you find the regulator that is willing to work with you and to find the right solution for your business? And this is actually one of our core competitive advantages, being based in Switzerland and having close around us Liechtenstein, which is part of the European Union, but also very independent uh, regulator and sophisticated regulator such as FINMA, Swiss regulator. Um, so this is why I think uh, we're in a great place to be.